Hello everyone, welcome back to Sense Business Studies. So today we'll be learning an IGCSE Accounting Topic 0425 Manufacturing Accounts Part 1. And I'm also having my own YouTube channel called Crazy IGCSE, which includes top, uh, subjects such as IGCSE Physics, Biology, Accounting, Business, Economics, English as Second Language, Maths, Tips and Hacks for Studying. So please subscribe to my channel as well. So now what's a manufacturing account? It's an account which contains total cost of production. Now when you are a manufacturing business, you will have to make a manufacturing account because you're going to have to uh, record all the costs which uh, you incur for the production of the goods. So a manufacturing business is gonna be is gonna have to make a manufacturing account but if you're a retail business then it won't be necessary to make a manufacturing account so a manufacturing accounts purpose is to record the total cost of production of the business now there's a thing called prime cost or direct cost now with the term direct cost itself you can understand that this means that the uh, cost is directly linked with the product so what comes under prime cost or direct cost is direct labor plus direct expenses plus direct material makes direct cost or prime cost now we look at each of direct labor direct expenses and direct material so direct material includes things such as op opening raw material purchase of raw materials, carriage inwards, and closing raw material. Now if you see, direct material means the materials which are directly linked with the product. And if you see that uh, here it says raw materials, opening raw material, closing raw material, and this means that the raw materials are the things which make up the product. So it's directly linked with the product. That's why it's coming under direct material. So um, there are questions often asked in a manufacturing account. They give you items such as office material or office costs. That will not be recorded in a manufacturing account because that is linked with an office and a manufacturing business is not an office. Manufacturing business will be linked with factory. So if you say factory wages, factory operatives, factory costs, factory materials, then you record those under the manufacturing account. But office material, office costs are not to be recorded in a manufacturing account. Now what comes under the direct labor? So direct labor comes direct wages, factory wages and factory operative wages. Now direct wages are things such as bakers, carpenters and machine operatives. Under direct expenses, there is royalty, and higher charge for a piece of equipment. Royalty is the fee paid to the inventor of the product. So since it's paid to the inventor by the business, it is an expense and it's directly linked with the product. So it comes under direct expense. And higher charge means paying an installment. So here also you're paying. That means it's an expense for the business. Then there's another thing called total cost. Now, total cost is made up of the prime cost or the direct cost plus the administration cost, the selling and distribution cost, and the financial charges. Now, if you see that here, prime cost or direct cost is the only thing which is directly linking with the um, manufacturing account uh, expenses. But uh, the administration costs, selling and distribution costs, and financial charges don't directly link with the manufacturing account. Now there is another thing known as indirect cost. So indirect cost is made up of indirect expenses, indirect labor, and indirect material. Now indirect cost, as the name suggests, it is not linking to the product. Under indirect expenses comes rent of factory, depreciation of factory and machinery, and depreciation on loose tools. We'll be learning about depreciation in another topic. And now under indirect labor comes cleaners wages, train drivers wages, indirect labor, and factory supervisors wages. So here if you notice, 
these are not linked with the product itself these are not linked so finished goods are goods which are manufactured products which are ready to be sold work in progress are semi finished goods which are waiting for completion and these what i'm explaining now finished goods work in progress are types of inventory and previously i did not uh, tell what are uh, the things which come under indirect materials so first is lubricants oil tools hand gloves these don't come directly uh, linking with the product and under indirect expenses there are also things such as factory lighting electricity factory power general factory expenses and the cost of operating forklift trucks now the third type of inventory is cost of uh, sorry raw materials that means the cost of the total component parts which are needed to make the product and these raw materials are currently in stock with the business also it has not been used in the work in progress nor the finished goods type of inventory for more check out www.sensebusiness.co.uk so this is the end of our topic part 1 theory of manufacturing accounts check part 2 for the solving of the manufacturing account please subscribe like share and comment thank you very much for watching sense business studies